haiya kunyitanire wegata wega mama ke boys bani saroni tata wa us mayagai ne yumirite agitihaga tande kwa dui na akarekereria miario mirito na miroro tamgwa nugu ya uregani thutha wa uhoro kubuka hari are kwagirwa ati newe watwarire ed na sianasi yake korea usa na kogwa agitsongireria kuharagana gwa kihiko gya samido na ed ati akamwethere muthungu wa america ed reu banis anyitetaga singa taki augete ati kaimana yuraga ekiyaga ma area eho ni ati we ona korwa ni mania thuire majui manja neo side chicks ati riria ed madire usa samido ni arekere ilia posti neda inisi yake akiuga ati madire vacation ugwa arekuga madha miregia thayo hatare modu urahi nyere ria ulia uge kana kumukungia wara oho ako gerera ati wene etikiti ya ulia biblia yugete ati erime daine matigida nyo nege kuotu na kuwa uwa uwe dangieda gotuwe kage kuwa keuge agotikita niandu ohori tawe igwere jami usia miario isi araike ilie modu tuwe kuwera nikirazi mishi na oho haha he na manda muge unaugiri ati kuwaja side chicks ageta nyamori moro kaka mekira adhi moke hithi ya metorira ini ya ado ati todoru ati tiga nenya moko ingerira relationship ya ede na samido ati ede da gere USA hatire kiwa kia kwa hau dikire dia to video toto what's up with samido ok good show you did with samido in the states oh yeah the two white was beautiful sana sold out jam packed however after that there was a lot of situations what's your relationship with samido we are family. As in Mutuako? No, Samido is married. I don't date married men. And oh. I don't date family. See, si it's a taboo. Family, Aje? See, si family. As in you are related? Mm. With and Samido? Yeah. And then I don't date married men. Oh. Yeah. So when a Samido Akuna? Nope. So when you called him in the States, when you guys were doing the tour, what was the same house? You know Kenyan, mekuja kuja, they are very, how do I even call it? Not after, kuye, the nice one. I think Kenya side chick nuengi zana. Oh. Eh? And I think women are very weak. I think kuku, people like, they don't value relationship. Okay. So the moment they just see a lady and a man, they just believe what unikulala. <laughs> people don't know that. People do business, you see. And when Samido came to the U.S., as a middle is a musician, it was work, you know. So I had a house for him, you know. I have a four-bedroom house. There's no way I can move my kids. So, and he had uh, his drumist. So he had his own house, a B&B. Why would he sleep in my house? That was the story. Exactly. When you say Kenyans, that's how, that's the mentality of Kenyans. Okay. Mm. So you did the tour, you said you guys made good money, oh, yeah. but there was a situation between you and Karen. What's the beef? I don't have a beef with her. But it's been decided chick. But I don't have a beef with her. Why would I have a beef with her? Am I uh, like Miss Bibi as a middle? No, come on a situation mm. that we've been seeing online that there's Kamvurugano, Wewe na Yeye, Hakupendi, Umpendi. Alisa mani pendi. No, no, no. I didn't hear her say it, but kuna, you know when teams, what kuna teams? So there's team Karen, there's team you, there's team Samido, there's team Wala, then there's team Sisi. Who's winning? Ask her like, we're going with the winning team. Wow. Yes, we're going with the winning team, you know. I didn't know that's how Vitu Ziko kwa grab. Yeah, there's always nini. No, na kuna Asenali, kuna Mani, wala sasa kuna Mamori wengine wa Liverpool na na kina Man City. Yeah, wako hapo pia. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So there is no beef between you and Karen. <laughs> I don't want to comment about that. Okay. I want to watch it. But what's your relationship with you and uh, Edith like? Edith is my sister. It's good. Oh. I'm going to America. <laughs> New Kweli. When Edith came to the US, yeah. Samido posted on his page. I'm going to go you. Leona, like exactly. He... The husband posted on his page. Yeah. The family are, are going for vacation. So, nilingililia wapi hapo? Hati wendo li muambia machano na Samido. Kuja huku ni kupatia mzungu. 
So how would I tell Nani Ide that she na marriage yake? Okay. Mhm. So but una support your marriage. Is the marriage still there though? That's not my story. That's Edith's story in Samido. Okay. Yeah. Aye. But other people are also saying you've been a good friend mm -hmm. to Edith. You've been yeah. supportive of her. And uh, they are commending you for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, Santi, thank you. if we meet the king of Mugidi since I come. Who's king of Mugidi? Samido. Samido. Ah. Who else? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, okay. you, you are a loo. Mistaken identity. For the first time, Umeji described Vizuri Sana. And I've told you, Wacha kunitukara na sudo account. Nima kuambia, Wacha kushinda ukini kumintia. Ukini tukana. The first time, Umetukania watoto. Na hiti. Watoto yetu wana, wana alisho na government. Wana kula government benefits. Mimi na wewe, nane na kula benefits za government? Hmm? So wendu naishi na benefits za government? Mwa kupele katoto vacation. It's all up under government benefits. Hmm? As we work. Number two, ati lakini unakatu kuchit. <laughs> Madam, umeza utu juzi za midu wa kikuwa embaras that uli mchit. Hmm? Umeenda kwa wakali za hizi. Hmm? Not all women have an unsatisfied spirit like you. Nasibu mama wote awana morals kama wewe. Kula lana mabwana za watu. No. As we were brought up nicely. We were brought up and we were taught how to respect marriage. We were taught how to respect marriage institution. Tulifundishwa. Hata uke approach uka tuena mabwana ya mtu. How good he is how to say no and how to walk away because the bible says only death comes between two people so mrs dark kwa death ningelie two people so heal accept that Edith has won and she's happy unaona Sasa, we enda kukua kali sasa. Enda ukasazo uku uku uka destroy uku. Alafu, without you have so much money. Unaenda kwa foundation, unaenda unapena 100,000. That's 650. An occasion that you are not even invited because you cheated. Unaenda uka G-Force. Alafu, unaenda na senators, unaenda kuzematia. At least these people now, they know you. Who doesn't know Samido? Hmm? Yani, you you always want to make yourself that hmm? you are the one who who introduce people to everything. Hmm? Samido gave you fame. No, no. So, wachanga kufanya ati, like, to, people to see at when do make a Samido. Actually, shombili za Samido zimekupea salari yako. So, madam, let's not go deep on each other. Respect me. Stay on your boundaries, okay? <laughs> hey, so it's because of Karen Nyamu that Eddie was able to go and settle in the United States of America. It is because of Karen that Eddie was able to relocate to the USA together with her children. It is because of Karen and Samido's relationship that Eddie was able to now enjoy life in the U.S. I know a lot of you are asking you how, asking me how, you know, not every side chick that is supposed to come and destroy you. God has his own way of working things out. Ladies, listen to this. I came across this news and I could not sleep with him. I decided to come and share. Now, I've learned that Eddie was able to apply for a visit visa through her friend, uh, Mama Boys. You know her, right? And when she got to the United States of America, she was able to seek asylum, political asylum, because her husband was involved romantically or her husband was in a relationship with a politician. Hence, her life together with the life of the kids was in danger. Yeah, so she was able to seek asylum on that basis. 
as we speaking now she is in the in the united states she is able to work we have seen people posting houses she has been able to acquire a house a car and all that that is because she can be able to work with that asylum Hmm. And you know when you go to apply for such asylum they just require evidence and you know on social media when you saw this current posting Eddie commenting or other people commenting those social media evidences work when you go to the other side or even messages or emails whatever evidence that you have so she was able to produce evidence and she was granted no now she is having cases as usual and after which she can have a green card or permanent residency i shared almost the same story here with a lady who called me saying that she was able to seek asylum in canada and she is now reuniting with her children because of domestic based violence gbv okay and i saw men saying you know domestic based violence is not enough reason for you to go and seek asylum it is if you have evidence and you are able to get a visa which can take you to the other side you can go and seek asylum and that government is going to protect you they are going to give you food shelter and give you some stipend pesa kidogo ya matumizi okay that is one thing you need to know now leave that one aside go to wives what you need is to have a good friend and learn to be patient and calm to de- to make the decision at the right time you see mama boys gave eddie the very good advice ever she never advised eddie to you know leave your house fight to pang fight the side chick or you're supposed to do uh, to cheat with another man no they had calculated moves and the advice is now advantageous to Eddie and the children that is why i'm saying you need mature friends who can give you mature advice at the right time you also need to come down and know when to act because for instance to for head to move with the children it means that the husband had to give the consent for her to go with the children but if edi was dramatic or maybe left the house or you know alikuwa kimuonyesha dalili za i'm living maybe this husband could not have given the consent a lot of people online used to say it is foolish if i was heady i could do this and this if i was heady i could have cheated if i was heady i could have left the house but edi was waiting for the right time i told you go to wives you need to wait for the right time so that you can be able to accomplish your plans and i've always said that a lot of go to wives have moved out emotionally they are just strategizing you know like for edi she was just being strategic getting a visit visa is not one day thing having to go to the other side is not one day thing and that is why she said if i never came to the united states of america i could be six feet down and my daughter could be in rehab it is not that she was going through good stuff in the house but she knew whatever it is that she wanted she need to come down and be patient and wait on the process and now you see the guy give concert akaenda ku visit akijua nikisha panda ndege i am not coming because to gather evidence to seek asylum is not one thing one day thing lazima walikuwa na moves very calculated so go to wife stop acting out of a sira and try to have mature friends sim tu mwenye anakwambia if he is cheating on you then get another man cheat on him or kill him or you know leave the house have a plan you know and another thing that i also want to say not every mpango wa kando that is going to kill or destroy you some of these mipango ya kando are meant by god to turn your life to a, a better thing you know like for eddie ed karen has given eddie a better life because in the united states umeenda na watoto wako hata kama utakaa huko miaka 20 you know you cannot compare the life of united states with the life of kenya wako wanani dollars <laughs> i'm sorry someone called me now i was saying that not every mpango kando that is meant to kill you when they give you lemon make lemonade out of it go to wives i have always told you don't waste your time fighting this mipango ya kando 
most of them don't even care so much about their lives. Most of them, they don't have anything to lose. Most of them, matter they don't have self-esteem. A lot of these men who are cheating on you with this impango ya kando, at a how they're not men enough. So you should not waste your energy fighting these people. Waste your energy strategizing and planning on your next move. Yeah, so when you walk away, you are sorry. I had even the vokumekua, and maybe so seen these people together so much of late. Yeah, uh, we have seen Karen and Samido. It's because you know when you seek asylum, you're not coming to Kenya anytime soon. So maybe Samido has made up his mind that kimekua, kimekua, kimeumana. <laughs> let me get, let me eat what I can get. <laughs> So you could be someone's mpango wa kando and God has placed you there to take their wives to the next level. Be careful what, of what you're doing to them. Uneza kuwa we ni mpango wa kando na mungu wa mekueka hapo for a purpose. So Eddie is enjoying her life in that land that everybody wants to be. And she didn't have to struggle much because a distraction which was meant to destroy her and to kill her and to bring her down and to keep put her six feet down has now taken her to a land where people are paying money, people are working day and night, people are looking for connection. God connected her. Hallelujah! <laughs> I'm so happy for her. So that is what happened in case you're asking kwani hendi aliendaje maju abarendo hiyo. And if you're in a toxic abusive gender based violence cases and you can have someone to help you and you're willing to go to these countries which are giving asylum to victims, you can go. Hmm? Mtu asikwambia the gender based violence is not an enough reason as long as you have evidence zako you can go there and they are going to protect you watakukua na kupea um, shelter food stupid mpaka ujipange habari ndio hiyo it's like kwa mama ndio wamechanuka saa hii i'm happy Jerry Fotera, sasa ni yamo sanene ko kumahadhini wa YouTube. Kiko uriana geti yoto kia wangu subscribe, go share, na go comment kia dawa video ino. Nandu kariga niru ondi go trumirira dhini wa TikTok na Facebook. Musa nene ko ni, titawa musa nene ki, wiga tu.